everybody. Susan Marchand here, the Techie Mentor. Just a big thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. And today's video is all about using virtual assistant as a title and really the reasons why you shouldn't use it as a title. First of all, um, if you're new to the VA industry, it's very common when somebody asks you what it is that you do um, or what business you have and that type of thing, whether it's family or friends or, or maybe even coworkers, um, or maybe you're networking with potential clients and they'll say, hey, what is it that you do? And you'll say, well, I'm a virtual assistant or I have a virtual assistant business. And you'll get usually one of two responses. One is deer in the headlights, like uh, what's, what's a VA? Um, especially for people that are still kind of in the corporate realm, they're not really familiar with what a VA is and what they're all about. And so then you have to take the time to explain it. And a lot of times when you take ex time to explain something to people, you lose them. Um, so if they know what a virtual assistant is when you're talking to them, then usually the second response that you get is, oh, you're an admin. Oh, you do things like answer email or customer service or answer my phone. And that's all fine and dandy if you are an admin. And I was not an admin. Um, I was a techie systems gal. And so I quickly realized that when I was out talking to people, again, family or friends, and trying to tell people what I did, if I used VA, they assumed that I was an admin. And then I had to go through uh, this long, drawn-out conversation to explain, no, I'm not an admin. Well, then why do you use the word assistant, right? Because once again, people who come from um, an employed background, assistant means um, some type of assistant to them. And that's not what I was. And so I started to look at, okay, I need to get away from VA. And then I started to realize that, well, you know, VA isn't a title, it's an industry, just like the medical industry. Because here's the thing, virtual assistants are extremely diverse. The whole industry is extremely diverse. Even though most people think that the industry is made up of admins, that's not the case. They may be the majority of people that are in this industry, but they are not all that's here. So for those of you who are thinking, I'd love to be a VA, I'd love to start a business, but I don't want to be an admin, that was me. But I realized very quickly that there are spaces for all of us in this industry. So don't fall victim to thinking that because it's a VA that they're an admin or you need to be an admin because that's not the case. So focus on virtual assistant as a industry and not a title. So going back to my, my medical uh, industry example, if someone to say a doctor to you, you're like a doctor of what? Uh, a podiatrist, a dentist, uh, anesthesiologist, a psychiatrist, a psychologist. I mean, it's very vast. Well, it's the same thing with this industry. So when someone says they're part of the industry, first, let's not assume that they're an admin and realize that this industry is made up of people who have a variety of backgrounds. So think of a large business, um, a business that has HRIT, um, sales, marketing, um, those are the ones that come to head, finance. Um, the industry our industry is made up of all of those different types of people with all of those different skill sets. So if you're somebody who's thinking, well, I don't really have the skill sets to be a VA, neither did I. I learned what I needed to be successful and so can you. So don't be dissuaded uh, by joining the industry because A, you think you have to be a VA or an admin, so to speak, or you don't have the right skill set because you can learn what it is that you need. So remember, look at the Look at virtual assistant as an industry, not a title. Now, one other note, if you're somebody who went out and got business cards, which I did, because you were gonna be doing networking, you know, I say ditch the business cards because they're not gonna get you what you need, right? Because again, most of the people you're running into, they look at your card, they see you're a virtual assistant, and then you have to have the conversation about, well, what is it that you do? So instead of focusing on titles, whenever you're talking to people, whether offline or online, focus on what you do. How do you help people? So for instance, let's say I'm a social media manager and my, my target market is uh, the travel industry, okay? So if someone comes to me and says, well, Susan, what do you do? I can say, well, I, I help um, family-owned travel, travel agencies um, manage their social media. And then we'll go, oh, I get what you do. You're a social media person and you work with travel agencies. Yes. So if I'd have said a VA, I'd have lost them 
if they didn't know what I did. Now they know exactly who I help and how. So you want to focus on that. So it's I help who, how. That's a very, very simple template that you can use. So get away from titles and start using that instead when you're explaining to people what you do. And to be honest, titles don't matter um, when you're a small business owner because you can call yourself anything you want. You own the business. Queen of Sheba, right? So don't get hung up on titles. I know I did when I first started because I come out of corporate America. I was a senior IT project manager, right? But with that title, there was a ton of things that went with that, like my pay grade, who I reported to, what I did, what office I worked out of. None of that matters anymore. No disrespect, but that's the truth. People just want to know how you can help them. They have a problem, how do you solve it? So focus on that. Get away from titles. Get away from using virtual assistant as some type of title. You want to drop it from your business names. If it's in your business name, you can always rebrand like I did. I started with comprehension virtual, comprehensive virtual solutions, and then I went to Clever Collaborations because I quickly learned again that people thought I was an admin, and I wasn't. And I had to spend all this time and energy trying to explain to people. Even people that landed on my website still didn't get it because they, they were tying my name, my business name, to what I did. And remember, your business name does not have to say what you do, okay? So going back to the business cards, Instead, use a benefits flyer. You may have heard me talk about this before, but basically it's something I, I created because I, I quickly knew that business cards weren't gonna work. And basically it's like a three by five card. It could be a little brochure, it could be a little flyer that basically says these are, the, these are the things I can do for you. So you spell out the type of things you do, not your list of services. Now, what you can do for people. And I've included a link below that I have a blog that goes through that with some samples so you can get an idea. But you can just use those instead because you'll get a lot more traction, especially in in-person networking. So to summarize, stay away from using V as a title. Get into it as an industry. Realize it's very diverse. It's not just made up of admins. There's so many other skill sets out there. If you're somebody who's thinking you want to do this, you can because you can learn whatever it is you need to learn to be successful. So thanks for stopping by for, uh, to my YouTube channel. and. I will be here every week, just short, sweet little videos. This new channel is called The Virtual Assistant Tips, Tricks, and Advice. And if you have any questions, you have comments, please leave them for me below. And if you know of anybody who would benefit from this, please feel free to share. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe. See you next week. Bye.